And in more big news breaking, Showbiz Tonight reveals why Letterman may never want his extortion case to actually go to trial. Joining me tonight in Atlanta is B.J. Bernstein, who's a defense attorney and former prosecutor. In New York tonight, Vinny Politan, who's a radio host for Sirius XM Satellite Radio. I want to begin with this new report that says Halderman may have been prompted to blackmail Letterman after he saw Letterman with his former live-in girlfriend just two months ago. B.J., I want to start with you. Is there any way that information like this could impact the case in any way? Well, in terms of the case itself, the criminal case, it really shouldn't because the issue in the criminal case is what did Halderman do? It's not what Burkett did because this is not an instance where Halderman should be the one to be able to get money from Dave. If anybody has a basis for it, it would be the women who work for him. So, so uh, just to understand correctly, they wouldn't look at that in any way as being a motive perhaps to point a finger at Halderman saying why he would want to blackmail Dave? It, it potentially could be, but it's not a good reason why, because he is just the third party to it. He's not part of the relationship, and that's the flaw with what the defense attorney has been going around on all the morning TV shows and putting out there. Got it. Well, the same day this report comes out, more big news breaking today. Dave, getting support from, I find this wild, of all people, South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford. You remember him? Of course, he's the governor who shamefully admitted to having that affair with a woman in Argentina back in June, and of course, who Dave Letterman, as he is wont to do, made fun of relentlessly. Now, he issued this statement today. He said, I feel sorry for Dave. I take no glee. Both my thoughts and my prayers are with him. Again, uh, that is co coming from the uh, South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford. Vinny, are you with me that this is probably the last person Dave needs speaking out in sympathy? Yeah, he, he, he really does. I, it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. Here's the problem, though, for Dave Letterman is, you know, if, in fact, this extortion case, this blackmail case goes forward, uh, AJ, you're going to hear more and more about Dave's life because, as you've seen this defense attorney go around uh, making the rounds talking about what he wants to do, it's clear what he wants to do, and just about any criminal defense attorney wants to do, find another villain. And the case uh, for this Halderman guy is to make David Letterman look worse than he is. Yeah, and, and, and that's and, what's going to happen. And, and, and sadly, he's already gotten that job accomplished just by all of this coming out in public. You know, in, in a way, he, he sort of won. But let's talk about that for a moment because the attorney for the suspect is ready to force Letterman to stand trial. A lot of people have been saying, you know, Letterman just needs to keep this thing from ever landing in a court. In fact, I want you to take a look at what Judge Jadine Pirro said this morning on the Today Show about exactly why Letterman should back up plea deal. It's a lot of what you said, Vinny. Here's the bottom line. You know, they've got the case. If they get an admission and a plea, and if David Letterman is behind it 100%, it ends it. It's over, and it's yesterday's news. But every day we're going to learn drips and drabs of different women, different scenarios, different quotes from the diary that Stephanie Burkett kept. It doesn't help Letterman. Yeah, I mean, BJ, should Letterman really be pushing pretty hard to stop this trial before any more dirty laundry gets out there? Well, I mean, Letterman had to know it was in consultation with his attorney that he approached law enforcement. So they had to have some discussions to begin with that this was going to potentially go to trial. Judge Perot is cor correct that if it could get over and enter a plea, then it's done deal for him. But the reality is that Halderman seems to be kicking back pretty darn hard. And remember, his career is over if he is convicted of this, potentially going to prison. So to say that he'll easily accept a plea for probation isn't something that uh, Letterman should rely on. Yeah, Vinny, help me understand exactly how much control does Dave even have at this point of whether or not this thing goes to trial? Isn't it a federal case? Yeah, well, he doesn't, a victim never has control. Uh, you know, once it's it's the people versus the defendant. It's not the victim versus the defendant. The victim versus the defendant would be some sort of civil case. This is a criminal case, so it's the people of the state of New York against this defendant. So he really has no actual control. He can have some influence. He can say, please, try to wrap this thing up, fellas. I don't want to go through all this. And a prosecutor might look at the case and say, you know what, if Dave Letterman has to get up on that stand yeah. and talk about all this stuff, wow. I could lose the case. It'll be amazing to see what actually ends up happening. B.J. Bernstein, Vinny Politan, thanks, guys. I appreciate it.